Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Uh, today is a Thursday, uh, June 15th, 2024. Let's find out what is going on on the Solana market. As you can see, I'm using the daily time frame chart with Japanese candlesticks on Zonda Crypto. So what do we see here on the Solana market? It's a very nice deterioration towards the a level of 146 tethers so let's just find out where is right now the moving average so if we apply our moving average cross we can see that the short term moving averages 9 and 26 are still above the price which means that there is a cross uh, here of a 9 periods moving average crossing 26 period moving average but because it's a daily time frame chart if we switch to 100 and uh, uh, 200 periods moving average which are uh, standard settings for most of the uh, traders we can still see uh, that the market is above the 200 periods moving average but below 100 period moving average so inside of this kind of a, a very particular zone 128 162 what's even more interesting is that if we get uh, the Fibonacci retracement for example if I will take the retracement here uh, and I'm, uh, I will be looking at the last swing last swing which is uh, let me just take the magnet which is here uh, I'm talking about this swing here this one there you go so if I'm talking about this uh, swing you can see that we retrace 61% almost perfectly right so 61% has been retraced here then it was a kind of a bounce and now we are moving uh, lower let me just uh, make it uh, right uh, for you guys so I can delay the unnecessary things uh, here that we don't actually need so you can guys see much more clearly uh, what is going on here so we got this uh, retracement towards the uh, towards the 61% mm, uh, uh, level which is apparently the last level for the retracement well, last mm, strong one and the most uh, popular so the last swing up 61% retracement so the path is like this we went follow my arrows right we went up here in that wave now a retracement was done down towards 61% so what should happen if the retracement is strong and there is more buyers than sellers we should continue higher right so this kind of a sequence is supposed to be done here on this uh, on this market you can you can label it for example abc or something like this uh, right so we still do not have the wave c here on uh, on the chart because it's in progress but um in order to see uh, that wave to the upside which we labeled as the wave c we need to uh, bounce strongly uh, from the level of 145 right without the bounce there is no the development uh, of the wave uh, c so that's the situation here with the a b uh, c uh, waves let me just uh, remove it for a second uh, all of these arrows so what we are waiting for is a confirmation that 61 percent retracement was the final one and the market is ready to go up how do we find out that situation the first one is if we take this ray and if we make it uh, really really nice and thick we can see that uh, there was a fi fake breakout with a bearish engulfing pattern on top and then we went lower okay then was the attempt to break out but uh, the movement to the upside wasn't that strong we went lower to at 61 percent so that's the first thing longer term trend line now shorter term trend line uh, is located here from let's say we take this high and we say let's say we take this uh, this low this is not that much um, that much uh, um, uh, that strong this is not very strong trend line huh? not that much as the as the orange one so we want a breakout above black and orange trend line we don't want to see any movement below this level here below 61 percent of the Fibonacci retracement. when we want it to stay like this and in order to develop the wave um, wave C to the upside we need to break above first 162 then above this swing high 175 and then finally above this fake breakout high 188 so we have some levels here that needs to be violated 
to confirm the extension of the uh, of the wave C. If we will make another Fibonacci uh, tool, if we will make another Fibonacci projection using another Fibonacci tool, like a trend-based uh, projection, so if we apply this as the uh, this wave as the major wave and uh, project the target for the wave C, to, so the first target is 214 which will be new yearly high and the next target, the most solid one, would be 256 so the A, B and C pattern works very well in that uh, situation if we get the confirmation that this market wants to go higher as I said the confirmation is breakout of the levels and uh, of the te technical resistance levels, right? Now momentum momentum went down from the extremely overbought conditions on the daily time frame chart be below the level of 50 let me just mark the level of 50 so you guys can see it below the level of 50 straight down towards the level of 40 uh, 39 even uh, as we deteriorate towards 61 percent of the fibonacci retracement now the momentum must go up and 61 percent of the fibonacci retracement cannot be violated so what we want to see is a strong movement to the upside in the momentum, strong movement to the upside in the Solana. Otherwise, if we won't see it, if market will behave different way, uh, different way, then the test of the level of 139 will be done. And if it's violated, we're going to test this loss here from the, in the middle of the uh, April 118 will be next. So all of this scenario will be invalidated bears will be in total control of this market for the next uh, a couple of uh, let's say weeks or m maybe even longer it's hard to say uh, right now so keep an eye on 61 percent keep an eye keep, uh, keep an eye on the momentum we want a strong momentum to the upside breaking the level of 50 we want nice candles to the upside breaking all of this technical resistance levels and two of the trend lines in order to continue the movement uh, in the wave C towards 214 and eventually 257 that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye